So you know Logger Wade's all proud of his Jeep. Look at this one I just picked up. You see what it says on the front of it here? Yeah, if you can read this, roll me over. It's mint condition. The guy that just sold it to me gave me a warranty like you wouldn't believe. Said the tires are good. <laughs> can you hear him laughing in the background? Yeah. He's too chicken to get in here with me. <laughs> Mom's freaking out. Oh no. Is that branch going to peel? Yes it is. Well, this is kind of embarrassing. I'd like for everything to be nice and new and all that, but it's not. It's a 2003 Trail King. Love the trailer, but here's the problem. I wish somebody wouldn't have bent that. I wish somebody would straighten that. Anyway, that's not the problem I'm after today. It's this valve bank. These ears down there on that linkage, that, right there. Rotted right off. Look at how rotted this is. Stuff they put on the roads. The bolts that come in the face, they're going to be rotted in there. This is going to be a ton of fun. Got all the hoses off. Well, I didn't get that one off, but I took it off on that end. I did not get that one off. I'm still fighting that one. Earlier you saw me try to take the or heat these up and metal is heated it expands now when it cools off it might actually shrink a little smaller than it was so that's what I was trying to do is just kind of break the rust free I have a feeling these are gonna be bad there's probably an 80% chance I'm gonna snap them off because they've been rusted there so long anyway I'm gonna start off just lightly 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 trying to impact them instead of giving her the <laughs> rhubarb right away for two. <laughs> would have dreamt that that would have came out like that. Sweet. Winner, winner, chicken dinner. Got her out. You can see these. Look at this. Paper, paper thin. See how that, that ears is that's peeled right off. That should be connected. Okay, let's take her into the shop and see what we can do. I thought I'd stay here and break this free and get it off. That was a bugger. That's bad when you gotta use a chip and hammer and a wire brush to chisel away enough rust to see what you got left. So that hole is definitely wallowed out. I'm gonna have to do just like replace the ends on these. Ooh, that hole is real, wrong one. Really, really wallowed out. That is paper thin. So when I rebuild this, I'm gonna have to figure out how much gap I need there, how much distance from there to there, how much that goes in. And I chipped all that rust off or the scales off they actually go in before they go in and they'd stick now they come back out at least so these are hydraulic spools that's what runs the low boy up and down and the kickstand up and down well trial promised not to make fun of me but i'm going to talk to you guys while he's over there working on his four-wheeler so I mocked up this thing here. I'm going to weld it on there. Much stronger, thicker. So I'm welding just a little bit. 
and then cooling it off with a wet rag. I don't know why Charles over there working on his snowfall for his four wheeler. It's not going to snow in Minnesota. Crazy. Had to go grab Grandpa's favorite tool. Okay, Charlie, you're going to have to quit grunting in the background here. I'm trying to do a video. See how hefty that new one is? <laughs> how thin these are? Can you hear him grunting over there? There's a lot of work. A lot of work? A small space. I'm going to have some good used spool ears on my Amazon account if anybody needs any. My anniversary supper. I'm showing your hand. <laughs> I absolutely love how fast or how beautiful that tree is. These ones are paper thin too, so I made a bunch more, four more. Clamped it on there, with the bolt hole through it, drilled it all out a quarter inch. Kind of weld that. Got that one welded on. Three more to go. One more welded on. I think I got all them tabs welded on there. Jam nuts on these because I don't want these bolts to fall out. I had to put them in. Yeah, they probably couldn't fall out if they wanted to. And those nuts, those ones in there, I just tack welded them. I don't know if I should have done that. I hope together. I hope I put it together right. Or <laughs> this, this is going to be frustrating. Well, that wasn't fun getting these going, but I think the worst is over. Well, I was pretty sure that this hose went from there to here, but it just, you know, the bend in the hose didn't look right. So I had to go back to the video. Maybe that's why I take videos, so I can see how to put stuff back together. If I ever put stuff back together, right, Matthew? Aftermarket JIC, sometimes they're 15 16 instead of 7 8 like most half-inch are. But, I will say this, this thing's going back together way better than it came apart. This is the last... The last one I got to tighten here, and I think it's back together. I suppose I should have built air in the truck, started up so the PTO would work so I could test it, but I'm pretty sure it's going to work. <laughs> I just jinxed myself, didn't I? Because that's what happens. Well, let's test this thing. Pretty sure it doesn't have any air in it. No, it does not. Can you see the air right there? No air. Brake air. Well, let's just finish putting some tools away then. Now well, let's lift the kickstand. That works good. Nice. After many years of fighting this, it's never been fixed right. And probably most people would say it still isn't fixed right. And I would agree. I know we live in a throwaway society. I don't believe in throwing stuff away. I believe in fixing stuff if you can. I'm pretty sure this will last many years. It should last 10 years. Anyway, it's fixed now. Halfway decent, I hope. Ready, Matthew? Cross your fingers and hope it works. I watched my video here a little while ago about the brakes sticking on this low boy when I was hauling hay. I'm gonna give it some grease. I got rid of all the number two grease that was in my grease gun. I pumped that into the saw bearings on the Tempco. I put wintertime grease in here. 
because it's got long remote lines and you don't want them full of number two grease or you don't want grease in number two grease in any of your brake line brake parts that should be number one minimum anyway if you had thick number two on these long remote lines they wouldn't work very well when it was 20 below so these remote zerks here are for the bushings bearings whatever on the on the outside of the s cams those are kind of tough to grease so this is way easier just to stand up here and pump them then you got to hit the slack adjusters and the bushing right next to the slack adjuster so there's three three per set of tire three three per brake so one two three four five six six times three eighteen we started in the back and just greased everything greased the uh, brakes you joints all that jazz when uh, slack adjusters looks like a bear got drug on out of under here <laughs> oh i just noticed what is that carmax no yeah i don't whatever i lost it so i gotta eh, maybe i can get that from the other side what? i should be able to reach that huh oh yeah lot to grease up here seal u-joint slip yoke u-joint Clutch throw up bearing, shackle, shackle, other shackle. Well, the, the steering here, the, you still have your brake can, uh, slack adjuster, your S cam. I must be forget. Oh, your your king pins. Yeah, lots going on up front. Looks like the brake lights work now, right? I'm going to try to figure out what's going on with the headlights. Those obviously are on. Look at all the condensation. Even these ones are caught. I'm not impressed. So this is my sticky brake. And the low boy, one of them. See, I pull it on with a pipe wrench instead of using the air in the truck. By myself, that should return to the, like that. See, the brakes are applied, it should go back on its own. I shouldn't have to do that. Let's see, I read the remote zerk hose, grease hose, goes to there. Look at this one, I way over grease this one. This one actually sticks worse. You know, this is a tough job to free up brakes. And if WD-40 would have sponsored me, these would be loose by now. Yeah, they're all greased, but I'm squirting this stuff uh, on the rollers, you know, around the everything, around the pins, on the slack adjuster, all that stuff. And like I say, if I was sponsored, this would work. Got the fog lights working. Thanks for watching. Have a great day. Thanks for watching. Have a great day. Thanks for watching. Have yourselves a great day. Fire Captain Tom says thanks for watching. Have a great day.